welcomes you, their parents, family, friends, to this 130th commencement exercise of Traverse City Central High School. And now, we are proud to present the Traverse City Central High School Class of 2014. Thank you. 
Good evening and welcome parents, grandparents, family members, friends of graduates, Board of Education members, Central High School faculty, TCAP staff, and board administration. Welcome to the commencement ceremonies for the class of 2014 from Central High School. Before I ask them to be seated, well, let's give them one more round of applause. Okay, you may be seated. You too, Max. At this time, please join me by honoring our graduates with tonight's special music from the Traverse City Central Chorale, conducted by Tamara Grove, and full orchestra, conducted by Ellen Boyer. My eyes have seen the glory. 
can recall. Some are dead and some are living. In my life, I love them all. But of all these friends and love.
Thank you so much. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Class of 2014 President and fellow Leakster, Scott Harden. Good afternoon. My name is Scott Harden, and I have the honor of introducing the Class of 2014 Hall of Fame inductees. Our first inductee, Lars Hockstead, is awarded the John H. Smedley Legends Award. Whereas Lars Hockstead graduated from Traverse City High School in 1907 and then continued his education in Olivet College, where he earned a teaching degree in 1912. Whereas Lars Hockstead taught at several schools around the state before returning to Traverse City and accepting a position to teach math at TCHS. In 1924, Lars accepted the position of high school principal and later moved on to serve as superintendent of Traverse City Schools in 1933. After five years as superintendent, Lars decided to return to his true love in education, teaching math. Lars Hockstead spent 33 years in the classroom teaching both at Trevor City High School and Northwestern Michigan College, and also was head of the math department. Lars was known for his strong commitment to his students and staff. Whereas Lars Hockstead was an active community leader, he served, president, he served as president of the Trevor City Rotary Club and was chairman of the Salvation Army Advisory Board. Lars was honored in 1959 with the Citizen of the Year Award, and in 1971, the Traverse City Area Public Schools named an auditorium at Central Grade School, the Lars Hockstead Auditorium. Lars died on January 14, 1980, at the age of 91. Now, therefore, we formally recognize Lars Hockstead for his long and distinguished career as an educator and for his dedicated community service to the city of Traverse City and we proudly proclaim that he's a member of the Traverse City Central High School Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is David Whiteford. Whereas David Whiteford grew up in a cherry farm south of Traverse City and graduated from Traverse City Central High School in 1972. Whereas David Whiteford won nine varsity letters, was named an All-State running back, as well as an All-State and Kodak All-American linebacker. Whereas David Whiteford played four years of football as a defensive back at the University of Michigan for legendary coach Bo Schembechler. David graduated from U of M in 1996 with a degree in architecture and returned to Traverse City to establish Whiteford Associates, one of the first design and build firms, firms in town combining a licensed architect and builder under one roof. David and his architecture firm have designed and built over 1,000 projects in the Grand Traverse region over the past 36 years. Whereas David Whiteford has given back to his community by donating architectural services, as well as designing the renovation of the Harry T. Running Stadium at Thurlby Field to become one of the finest high school football facilities in the Midwest. Now therefore, we formally recognize David Whiteford for his outstanding athletic accomplishments, his success as an architect and businessman, and his generous contributions to Traverse City's Thurlby Field and other sport venues, and we proudly proclaim that he is a member of the Traverse City Central High School Hall of Fame. Next is Jerry Stonek. Whereas Jerry Stonek is a 1966 graduate of Traverse City Central High School, where he was an outstanding athlete. He led his ski team to four consecutive state championships while never losing a meet. Whereas Jerry Stonek earned a ski scholarship to Fort Lewis College in Durango, California, Colorado, and eventually raced professionally on the World Pro Tour from 1972 to 1980. Whereas Jerry Stonick has coached high school skiers for 35 years, served as director of the Grand Traverse Ski Club, and continues to encourage and train young ski, ski racers. Whereas Jerry Stonick is a member of the Michigan High School Coaches Association Hall of Fame, having led his teams to more state final appearances than any head coach in MHSAA sponsored sport. Jerry has coached boys ski teams to record 11 state titles and girls ski teams to record nine state titles. Now, therefore, we formally recognize Jerry Stonek for his passion for ski racing, 
His outstanding coaching career is the most successful downhill ski coach in Michigan high school sports history and his mentoring of young athletes and proudly proclaim that he is a member of the Traverse City Central High School Hall of Fame. Our last inductee today is Leonard Hawley. Whereas Leonard Hawley graduated from Traverse City Central High School in 1965, where he was elected Governor of Student Senate and quarterback the 1964 Conference Champion Trojan football team. Whereas Leonard Hawley was appointed to the US Military Academy at West Point and graduated in 1969 as a second lieutenant, US Army Armor Branch. Leonard served in Germany and South Vietnam before returning to the United States as captain and battalion logistics officer at Fort Riley, Kansas. Whereas Leonard Hawley spent 25 years in the US Army, advancing to the rank of colonel. Leonard served on the congressional staffs of Senator Frank Lautenberg and Congressman Ike Skelton. He became the Assistant Secretary of Defense and was awarded the Civilian De Defense Meritorious Service Medal. Whereas Leonard Hawley advised President Clinton on the National Security Council, was Principal Deputy Director of the National Y2K Task Force, served as Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, was on the 9-11 Commission and continues as a Senior Policy Advisor lecturing on national security issues and contributing to policy research. Now therefore, we formally recognize Leonard Hawley for his distinguished 25-year military career, his contributions to Congress, the Defense Department, and the National Security Council, and for continuing his service to our nation as a policy advisor and member of the National Commissions and Task Forces. And we proudly proclaim that he is a member of the Traverse City Central High School Hall of Fame. And now Mr. Hawley will address the 2014 graduates. Thank you, Scott, for your kind introduction. I'm very honored this afternoon to speak on behalf of the four inductees to the class of 2014 Alumni Hall of Fame. Indeed, we are very grateful for this special recognition. The three of us here tonight are delighted to congratulate you, the class of 2014, for your outstanding achievements during this, your senior year. According to the black and gold, we see that the class of 2014 has won over 243 individual and team awards in academic excellence, conference championships in sports, and high honors in the arts and sciences. Congratulations. <laughs> this evening, as we celebrate your many accomplishments, we also look to the future for what lies ahead for you in the coming years. And I must tell you this evening that all the national projections say that the decade of the 2020s will be far more challenging than today. And I also must tell you that years ago, when Jerry, Dave, and I graduated from Central High School, the national projections of our future were also very sobering. In going forward from Central High School in the wider world, we soon learned that our great teachers, our great coaches, and our steadfast advisors had developed both our minds and our character to meet the many challenges that would come in our time. And they instilled a very strong foundation of values that gave us strength. For me, the four values that were most important in my over 50 years of military and government service include treating others with respect and dig dignity always, applying a strong work, work ethic to make progress, 
having the courage to pursue new ideas, and last, working together as a team to solve the complex problems of our day. Indeed, I believe that this is what makes Central High School so special for each and every one here today. So as we look ahead to the future tonight, the three of us here are in close agreement about what's important for you in going forward. The one nugget of our advice is straightforward. Follow your passion. Each of you has a unique gift, a special talent, a compelling personal story. We urge you to find yours and to follow it in your professional life. If you follow your passion, Hard work will become fun, long hours will fly by, tough jobs will become desired opportunities, and creativity will become routine. All three of us followed our passion in our lives, and that has made all the difference. So in closing, as Hall of Fame members of the class of 2014, we look forward to seeing your accomplishments and your contributions in the coming years. So as we advance forward with you, we must wish you good luck and Godspeed. Thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to introduce Olivia Luciani, Student Senate Governor, the Class of 2014. First of all, thank you friends, family, and TCAP staff for gathering here to celebrate the graduation of the Class of 2014. We owe you so much, so a huge thanks to all of you. Yay. Now, graduating seniors, at this time, many of us are tempted to either reminisce on old times or intricately plan our futures. But amidst all the distant relatives who will ask us about our college plans, we need to take this moment to look at where we are, not where we have been, or where we will go. We are here in Kresge Auditorium graduating. We are smart and capable. We are committed, excellent, integral. We embody traditions. We are respectful. We are achievers and leaders. And yeah, that's the central acronym. So more important than any acronym, however, is the fact that we are surrounded by those who care about us most. Our friends, our community, and our families, really anyone who has ever supported and believed in us. Graduation is the accumulation and cessation of our high school efforts, a moment of celebration before we move on to greater things. We are right in between an ending and a beginning, so let's just take some time to appreciate this specific moment of transition, because every second forward we will be different and changing. So don't think about those placement tests. Appreciate the kid who has been hiding Taco Bell in his gown all day, or any of the other weird things that makes our class our class. In this moment, you are everything you ever have been and everything you ever will be. We are a sum of our experiences and contain an amazing amount of potential. Rather than recalling those experiences or imagining what that potential may be, let's just consider how cool it is that you, future you, past you, everything, is here at this moment graduating. So I'm not gonna ask you to look back fondly on all the games we attended, the classes we tolerated, and the lifelong friendships we made. I'm not gonna tell you how cool and limitless our futures are going to be. This speech is about appreciating this instant and is a reminder to live in the moment regardless of where we are. Congratulations, Trojan Class of 2014, and thank you. <laughs> and
And it's been an honor serving such a great school as Student Senate Governor. And at this time, I have the privilege to hand over the governor's gavel to next year's Student Senate Governor, Lucas Battle. Ladies and gentlemen and graduates, would you please welcome our superintendent, Mr. Steve Cousins. Welcome graduates, faculty, and administration, Board of Education, parents, and friends, to the commencement for Traverse City Central High School class of 2014. It's a wonderful, wonderful occasion and certainly an important milestone in the lives of all of you graduates. I want to speak to the graduates. And I want to start by sharing a line from a song with you that goes like this. It's a drop that fills the ocean and pulls us into sane. This lyric popped into my head when I was on a hike. And I was thinking about whether or not to take on a challenge facing me. The time of year was April, and I was standing on the top of Hogback Mountain in Marquette, Michigan. Hogback has one of the highest elevations in our state, and from the top, one has a wonderful 360-degree view of the surrounding area. Lake Superior to the north, the Huron Mountain Range to the west, and the beautiful, densely forested Yellow Dog Plains and the Dead River Basin to the southwest. It's one of my favorite spots. On this day, it was snowing very hard and the wind was roaring. Below me, at the base of the mountain, everything was turning white. And for a moment, I could imagine the valley filling up with snow, one snowflake at a time. And I remembered a quote from an interview given by Mother Teresa, the charismatic yet humble Catholic nun who spent the greater part of her life tending to the sick and dying in Calcutta, India. When asked by a reporter how she maintained her faith and continued to minister in the face of overwhelming suffering, when her efforts amounted to a drop in the ocean, Mother Teresa replied, it's a drop that fills the ocean. She went on to say, that to do nothing was to give in to insanity, to pretend that compassion and love had abandoned humanity. Amid all the suffering in Calcutta, the only sane choice for her was to minister to the dying. Any other choice denied the reality of her existence. If she accepted that suffering existed, then she must accept that the only sane choice is to try to console those who suffer. Her Calcutta included both the business of making every day happen, the mundane, and the need to confront the reality of poverty, disease, and death. She loved Calcutta and its people without denying the immense suffering that flowed from its streets. It's a drop that fills the ocean. She was not without her doubts. When asked about the strength of her faith and her determination to do good, she replied that she often, often questioned the very existence of God. Her faith had been tested right down to its very core. She often acted in spite of a crisis of faith. She did not spend her days legislating huge changes to government. She did not command an army. She did not raise millions of dollars in foundation to build hospitals and schools. She spent her days cleaning the sores of discarded people, praying with them, and providing the only human touch most would experience before they died. Her simple goal 
that each would die with dignity. It's a drop that fills the ocean. Graduates, my bet is that you will be faced with a much less harsh reality than the people of Calcutta, but yours will often seem overwhelming. Your faith will be tested. <clears throat> you will be tempted to walk past problems and pretend you do not see them, that you do not even notice. What choices will you make? Most of us go into a career because we believe we can make a difference in the lives of others. Most of us want to change the world in a big way. But if we are good at what we do, we figure out what Mother Teresa figured out, that every drop counts. Every moment matters. Growth comes in increments, and no matter how hard our circumstances, there is always a way to fill the bucket. It comes down to how you decide to spend your time. This little nun saw people dying. She saw that there was no time to waste. She tried to bring them back home to a place that held their dreams, ambitions, their love, one drop at a time. Standing on the top of that mountain with the wind roaring and the snow falling in sheets of white, I thought about the little nun from Calcutta. And I remembered why faith is so important, why hope can never be taken for granted, why love is the most powerful force in the universe. And that reflection makes me think of all of you, of your moment, that point in time when you will have to choose to walk past, pretending that you don't see, or find a way to add a drop to the ocean, to give something of yourself to make this place better. It will happen. We all make a difference. The choice is whether it will be one that will add to the fabric of the life and fills the lives of other people. My hope is that you will choose wisely. My prayer is that your contribution will be the one drop that fills the ocean and pulls all of us into sane, and that it makes the world around you a little better place to be, because it's just a drop that fills the ocean. Graduates, God bless you and congratulations. So can you tolerate a few more minutes? No? I promise to be quick, because I know you want that piece of paper. Graduates, this evening I stand before you with a sense of humility and a feeling of pride. Central High School staff are proud of your accomplishment, as you will momentarily be a graduate of Central High School. You see, I have the honor to serve as your principal. That brings out a sense of humility because it is such an important role and I often fall short. The responsibility to work to ensure you have received an education that will now launch you into the next phase of your life can be overwhelming at times. However, I feel proud because Mr. Hendricks stated at the senior assembly, it is an honor to be an educator to be part of your lives, even for the blink of an eye, is extremely humbling. To spend time, hours, in an attempt to assist you to improve our moments tattooed on an educator's soul. Whether we see you again or not, our lives will be intertwined forever. We are proud of not only helping you through the journey of high school, but proud to see that no matter the circumstances, you have persevered and did not let the challenges, obstacles, and barriers stop you from accomplishing your goal of graduating from high school. But in the next few moments, let me just share some of my hopes for you. Because you have demonstrated so much potential as the class of 2014. What is it, the potential that I'm referring to? Let's reflect. This year, we have four national merit finalists 
a commended scholar and a corporate scholar. The Michigan Youth Arts Festival participants as soloists, music groups in vocal music and instrumental music. Michigan Mathematics Prize Competition Qualifier. For robotics, we won the Creativity Award, the Chairman's Award, the Entrepreneurship Award, and the Imagery Award at the State Championship. We had a first place in the Fashion Trash and Show. That's West Deal, and we won it. <laughs> we had a Spartan Gold Award for the yearbook. We had a Spartan Award for the newspaper. Now, the list for athletics is, well, just ridiculous. In the fall sports, we had four Big North Conference titles. Boys Cross Country was third in the state. They were regional champions, and they were the Big North Conference champions. Our Girls Cross Country was first in the Big North for the 12th straight year, second in regionals, and for the 18th, state year, 18th straight year, they qualified for the state championship. In equestrian, our team came in first at districts, first at regionals, and eighth in the state. Girls golf was second at regionals and 10th at the state finals. Our boys tennis team, big north champions for the eighth straight title and ranked in the state's top five for the seventh straight year. In the winter sports season, it was highlighted by our girls cross country ski team doing nothing less than taking home a state title. Girls basketball was academic all-state team with an honorable mention and over 500 community service hours during their season. Our hockey team was big North Conference champions. Our boys and girls downhill ski teams were second in the big North and second in the state, respectively. In the spring season, our athletes and coaches were actually wondering if they'd ever get to compete early on. However, our girls tennis team was the Big North dual meet champion. Our boys track team was the MSU Spartan indoor champions and they had excellent results yesterday as well. They have also been the five time defending Big North Conference title champions. And then yesterday also our baseball team was the district champs. And I could go on. I'm sure that I've missed many things that I could say. But the question is, what does it all represent for the class of 2014? To me, it represents who you are as a class. People who take advantage of the opportunities and interests to pursue and build the person you hope to become. But for those of you who know me well, you know that I really believe in the power of attitude. How, can it, how it can define you or defeat you. It is my hope you can harness the power of your attitude to shape and define who you will become. One of my favorite writers said, I believe the single most significant decision I can make on a day-to-day -day basis is my choice of attitude. It is more important than my past, my education, my bankroll, my successes or failures, my fame or pain, my circumstances, what other people think of me or say about me, or my position. Attitude keeps me going or cripples my progress. It alone fuels my fire or assaults my hope. When my attitudes are right, there is no barrier too high, no valley too deep, no dream too extreme, no challenge too great for you. Charles Swindoll. And so, if you can harness the power of your attitude and train yourself to take advantage of your attitude no matter the circumstances, then you will be able to have peace. For there is no win in your comparison to others. Don't worry about looking to your left or to your right to see if you are doing all right or better than others. Living in the land of what I call Ur, getting richer, smarter, prettier, skinnier, buffer, is never ending. It's a never ending chase because someone will always have more err than you. Don't misunderstand that I am saying you shouldn't pursue your dreams and use the power of your attitude to achieve great things, but be okay with who you are for there is no win in your comparison to others. 
Think about this piece of wisdom from the ancient world. Better one handful of tranquility than two handfuls with toil and chasing after the wind. In other words, the lazy person seeing the futility of dashing around to be successful folds his hands and does nothing, hurting himself and those who depend on him. The workaholic is driven by a constant desire to stay ahead of everyone. Both extremes are unwise and irresponsible. The answer is to work hard, but with moderation. Look around you and take time to grow relationships, not just with social media either. Care for others. Give back to your community. Serve your country and make a mark for yourself. But more importantly, pay attention to the help you can give others along the way. Class of 2014, I stand before you as when I began this speech, humble and proud. I am proud to say that on behalf of the faculty at Central High School, we wish you nothing but our best wishes and expect that as you leave us, you will become leaders in the way, again, Mr. Hendricks so eloquently stated at the Senior Assembly. Become genuine people who care about the success and happiness of others, who reach outside themselves and change the world for the better, a little each day. Congratulations, and many of you are to be reminded that uh, some of you still owe Philkins 20 bucks. Mrs. Hall, will you please join me? President Hall and the members of the Traverse City Area Public Schools Board of Education, may I present the Traverse City Central High School Class of 2014. I affirm that these students have completed in a satisfactory manner the requirements for graduation as set forth by this Board of Education and the Michigan Department of Education and that they may now receive their diplomas. On behalf of the Traverse City Area Public Schools Board of Education and Superintendent Cousins, I accept this class as ready to receive their diplomas knowing they have met the requirements set forth by the Board of Education and the Mi Michigan Department of Education. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the class of 2014, Henrika Alm. Christopher Anderson. Paxton Anderson. Marshall Anthony. Olivia Apria. Madeline Olasino. Nathan Bears. Ivy Bailey. Jenny Baker. Mary Barbera. <laughs> Dianthea Barnum. <laughs> Callie Barkoviak. <laughs> Bradley Beauchamp. Taylor Becker. <laughs> Kylie Beeler.
Yanni Beaker. McKenna Beers. Ellis Begley. Joshua Belcher. Tiger Bell. Christopher Bennett. Julia Berry. Graham Bevier. Tanner Bianchi. Zachary Blake. Autumn Blanchard. Marjorie Bolt. Channing Bornshine. Devon Barrowdale. Jennifer Borishak. Cynthia Bowen. Cole Boyd. Jacqueline Briggs. Marley Bristol. Sabrina Brooks. Lauren Bruno. Victoria Buchanan. Alma Boltzma. Tristan Burke. Alexandra Burris. Tabitha Burris. Marina Calderola. Margaret Caldwell. Adam Canute. Christopher Chang. Elena Chella. Angel Chekas. Justin Christopher. Jameson Chung. Jelena Cisneros. Taylor Cobb. Amelia Coggins. Jeffrey Comerford. Maverick Cook.
Catherine Cooney. Matthias Copeland. Helen Cullen. Carly Curtis. Dakota Cutler. Hannah Davis. Piper Deans. Andrew Decker. Autumn Decker. Logan Delacqua. Fisher Didi. Rocco Dituri. Emily Dome. Hunter Dolwick. Devon Dotterer. Kyle Dotterer. Murphy Drury. Christina Dreskovich. Jack Delude. David Dunlop. Brooke Ebenhoe. Michaela Eccles. Zachary Egbert. Vincent Elu. Lucas Empson. Rochelle Engel. Danielle Ivina. Jacqueline Ewing. <laughs> Hannah Fossil. <laughs> Jordan Ferenbach. <laughs> Harold Feigl. Madison Fink. Cam Fisher. Olivia Fleet. Taylor Flores. Kelly Forrester. Adam Foster. Joy Fowler.
Kurt Frick. Summer Freeze. Alec Fuller. Carl Gardner. Carolyn Gardner. Delaney Gartland. Mace Gates. Brendan Gaylord. Colton Gerber. Jacob Gerstner. Matthew Ginlet. Cameron Gibbons. Jacob Gorter. Victoria Gortzema. Lauren Gray. Allison Griswold. Enrica Gulo. Britta Etta. Christopher Hall. Miranda Hall. Maya Hall. Connor Hansen. Hunter Hansma. Scott Harden. Kayla Harley. Ian Hathaway. Ryan Hayworth. <laughs> Caleb Heimberger. <laughs> Pedro Height. <laughs> Allison Henschel. Kayla Hilner. Jillian Holstead.
Johanna Hopf. Alex Hokey Hu. Haley Hushak. Peter Jacobson. Nicole Janaga. Rayanne Jensen. Bauer Jones. Michael Kellett. Rudy Kelly. Alexandra Kelp. Chase Kleehammer. Jeffrey Knobloch. Shudaman Konkunakorn. Christopher Constanzer. Sarah Korb. Alexander Corson. Jonathan Kotarski. Kylie Koal. Anthony Kuchera. Gary Kipfer. Jessica Kushner. Marie Laird. Kyle Lamond. Danielle Landowski. Matilda Larson. Emily Ledford. Mitchell Liliev. Forrest Llewellyn. Jay Lim. Charlie Long. Josiah Lopez Wild. Gary Lord. Olivia Luciani. Michaela Ludka. Andrew Mahelski. Isabella Mack. Alan Mackey. Brooke McKinnon.
Paige McKinnon. Daniel Madian. Alexandria Mallory. Kayla Menino. Lauren Marsh. Jade Mason. Kaho Matsumura. Edward Maxbauer. Samuel McGinnis. Tiernan McGrew. Carlene McKenzie. Noah McKenzie. Tricia Menatek Rourke. Evan Mesguin. Alyssa Middaw. Anthony Miller. Delaney Miller. Haley Miller. Mackenzie Miller. Kendall Miner. Noah Mitchell Ward. Claire Moen. Haley Mall. Sean Muneer. Mackenzie Monroe. Elena Morcote. Marco Morcote. Gabriel Mori. Catherine Moses. Jacob Music. Fiona Muha. Brianne Munch. Jacob Myers. Alec Nall. Kaylee Nimi. Anina Niemannen. Charlotte Noble. Skylar Norgard.
Nicole O'Brien. Bren Olson. Yeah. Anders Olson. Yeah. Gonzalo Osorio Martinez. Yeah. Chloe Ostama. Haley Padden. <laughs> Abigail Pallison. <laughs> Estefany Panigagua. <laughs> Germania Parks. Gabriel Pasco. <laughs> Alyssa Pataki. <laughs> Madison Pollock. <laughs> Kate Pence. Lexi Penny. <laughs> Molly Peregrine. <laughs> Stephen Perrin. <laughs> Sarah Peterson. Freeman Phillips. <laughs> Melissa Phillips. <laughs> John Pitek. <laughs> Haley Pierce. Chad Pipkins, Austin Plamondon, Austin Podshead, Lindsey Porter. Olivia Porter. <laughs> Megan Powers. <laughs> Alan Prouse. <laughs> Trenton Prescott. Paige Price. Yeah. 
Ina Pishniok. Amanda Rabb. Autumn Radosevich. <laughs> Melissa Rates. <laughs> Stephen Rattray. <laughs> London Rauch. Nathan Rika. <laughs> Megan Riley. <laughs> David Reinke. <laughs> Joy Reist. Rodrigo Reyes. <laughs> Bianca Richards. <laughs> Jordan Riggs. <laughs> Benjamin Rogers. Hernan Rojas, <laughs> Howard Rose, the fourth, <laughs> Elena Rothney, <laughs> Lindsay Round. Marcus Russell, Jordan Sabin, Benjamin Saunders, Ryan Schiller. Nathan Schlusler, Derek Schrank, Molly Schroederus, Shannon Schroeder. Angela Serafinov, Jonathan Shank, Michael Siciliano, Ashley Smith. Elijah Smith, Monique Smith, Aaron Smits, Zoe Sobek. Brandon Sagi, Claire Saracci,
Brett Spansky. Rebecca Stegman. Daniel Steele. Adam Steppen. Savannah Stevenson. David Stone. Gwendolyn Stricker. Ivan Siminski. Kayla Zafransky. Alexa Zunko. Marin Tack. Allison Taphouse. Aaron Taylor. Megan Thomas. Madison Thompson. Alex Tomaszewski. Isaac Trejo. Clara Tripp. Courtney Truss. Sonia Ubing. Abigail Underwood. Francesca Valentage. Brady Versluce. Joseph Videcki. Mitchell Villa Gomez. Nicole Vocal. Andrew Walsh. Alexis Walter. Madeline Weatherholt. Lindsay Weber. Helene Weingartner. Molly Whiting. Kulinart Wishen. Carolyn Williams. Joel Willis. Andrew Wittersheim. Daniel Watucky. Timothy Woodbury.
Brianna Worthington. Bradley Wozniak. Emily Wright. Ashley Rona. Dylan Wyatt. Mitchell Weinkoop. Vam Yang. Abigail Yanska. Nicholas Jurgens. Cameron Young. Jacqueline Zarzicki. Kimberly Zirup. Catherine Zimmerman. Class of 2014, we are proud to recognize you as graduates of Traverse City Central High School. And as a symbolic act of your graduation, you may now move your tassel to the right and begin the recessional. <laughs>